So we'll just take a quick look at how you might create a multi-term term base from scratch with an image as part of the term base. So we click on File, Create a Term Base. We give it a name, I'll just call it Test. And this brings up the multi-term wizard. So this gives you some idea of the steps you're about to go through. You click on Next. A good idea sometimes is to have a look at the predefined templates because when you do this, if I just do that quickly and show you, it gives you some idea because you can have a look at the sort of structure that has been used on other things and you can see how they've been laid out. And it gives you some idea of how a term base might be laid out or could be laid out. We're taking a look at that. I'm not going to do that in this case. I'm going to create a new term base definition from scratch because mine's really simple. All I've got is a couple of terms, and I'll still call it test. You have to give it a friendly name, by the way. The friendly name is just the name that appears at the top here, so it makes some sense, rather than the file name. So after you've done that, you're taken to the next step where you select the languages. So we select a couple of languages. OK, there's two languages. We click on Next. You then give it a field label. And the field label is basically any type of field that you would like to have that's supported by multi-term. So it could be a text field, a pick list, um, date fields, it could be an image. In this case I want an image and I'm going to call it image. You can call it anything you like. You can call it my pictures if you like, my pictures, it doesn't matter. And you add it. You then click on the descriptive field and decide which one, which type it is. So whether it's a text, a number, Boolean string, a date, pick list, or a multimedia file. Mine is an image, so I select the multimedia file. You click on OK. If I wanted to know a little bit more about this, I could click on the help. And the help does give me some information about um, how to use this. So when I do that, it takes me through and tells me, or gives me, let me just make that a bit bigger, it gives me a little bit of information on creating a term base. Uh, when I do that I can see that it's the sort of things I might want to know about are the descriptive fields and the entry structure. Now it's not particularly explanatory. It tells you the basics but it doesn't go into a lot of detail here which I guess is where you're coming from. So um, I would type entry structure and do a search if I wanted to know a little bit more about that. Take a look at the first hit, term base entries, levels and fields. This gives me a little bit more information again. This is beginning to match what I was just looking at when I was looking at the predefined fields. So by looking at those and looking at this, I can work out, I have to do a bit of work to understand it, but in many ways that's a good thing because if I just read it and it was all there, I might not understand it as well as I do in trying to understand something that's not explained particularly well. That's not an excuse and it's not a reason why we shouldn't do anything better. There should be more information than this within the help. Um, but that's one way to take a look at it. And I do think there's enough here to be able to make a start on it if you spend a bit of time. Anyway, my pictures. Um, I think I told it, yep, it's a multimedia file. So I click on next. And then I need to decide where it wants to go. So I might put this, for example, I might put it at the entry level. If I put it at the entry level, it will put the image right at the top of the screen against the entry, not against the term. Um, if I don't want it there, if I wanted it to be, well, in fact, actually there's an idea. Let me just remove that. Let's put a picture at each different level and then we can see what it looks like. So I've added a My Pictures field to each different level in multi-term. So I'll click on Next and Finish. If I look at the term based management now and then click on the definition, you can see what I've actually done. So this is the way the structure will be in multi-term and I've added this field at each different level. You can also see it's a multimedia file. So if I go back to my terms, so let's add a new term and add a term. The top entry here is where I would add my picture. So this is the entry level and I could pick my picture here. So let's pick an image I've used before. 
So you select the picture and it puts the path to the picture. I can then go down to the term. I can add the term. I'm calling it Studio 2009 because I know what that particular image is and so it kind of matches that. You can see I was being prompted as well there for the um, other fields because I also added the picture at term level and at index level. I won't do that just yet. I will just save that one so you can see what it looks, looks like. So there's the entry with the picture at the entry level. If I add another one, and what I'll do is this time I'll go 2009 number two. And down here, studio 2009 number two. Um, and what I might do is add it at the index level. So you see, if I click on that, it'll drop down. I can add my picture and I can browse here. And there's the image at my language level. I could do that at all languages if I wanted to. I'll just leave it at the one for the time being and save it. So there's my second one. So you can see the difference. That's at entry level. That's at language level. And if I wanted to add it at term level, I can add a new one again. Um, so this is Studio 2009 number three. I'll copy that this time. Oops, sorry, that was my fault. Number three, so there's my three, and this time I can add one at term level. So I click on the drop down to the term, add the pictures, browse, select my image, and save it. So there's the term level. So what you have is um, the three different levels. That's the entry level, that's the language level, and that's the term level. I could have added them also in the Albanian, but I've just added them in the one place. I could have added them in all three if I wanted to, but that gives you some idea, and perhaps that also gives you an idea of how you can play with it a little bit yourself, just to see how, how it works. It's not so complicated, but it can appear complicated and can feel a little complicated because it uses a lot of language that is unfamiliar, and there's not enough examples in the help. I do agree with you there. But I hope that is helpful in terms of I'm allowing you to get started.